and I think the point has to be made. You know, the, what Mahesh said is right. Is that we cannot talk about, you know, uh, hanging Kasab has nothing to do with the fact that we are not being strong on the real perpetrators of the of the real masterminds. It's true, hanging Kasab. It should not end with that. That's the important thing. No, but we, is there a chronological list? Is a question that I have. I, my understanding is yes. there is no. No, there are two points tonight. One is, is there a chronological list? Is there a chronological list, Mahesh Jetmalani, or is there a figment of our imagination? Because in May 2011, last year, while rejecting the pardon for two convicts, Devinder Pal Singh Bhullar and Mahindra Nath Das, the government had broken its own rules, its own self-imposed so-called rules. The queue, which the then Home Minister claimed that the President chose to act on Rajiv Gandhi's assassin's plea only months after rejecting the pleas of Bullar and Das. So when the government wants, it can break the queue. When the government chooses, that's exactly it can talk about a queue. Exactly is there a queue? Is, is there a no, queue? But, but that's exactly what I'm trying to tell you. That you, may, you, think, you think he's going to go and he's going to have the death penalty so soon? No, the he's question is, is there a queue? Arnab, you're a nation of queue breakers. Why are we worried about this? Is Arnab, the, there is, is the, no is, queue. There is no queue, says Mahesh Jetpalani. Yes, Mr. Jetpalani. Arnab, there is no queue. That queue, that queue has Arnab, been for correct, reasons yeah. of political expediency being conjured by the fertile imagination of that great master of sophistry, Mr. Chidamra. There is no queue. There is no queue, says Mahesh Jetpalani. Ujwal Nikam, does the president act completely independently as per the law? Or does the president, while exercising the power of mercy, is the president to some extent not bound by the advice of the Union Council of Ministers? Because the president can return the advice for reconsideration. But if the government says no, then the president will have to agree, right or wrong. So it's eventually going to be a political decision on hanging Kassab. Ujwal Nikam. According to the prevailing practice, it appears that though the president has to take the decision on mercy petition independently, but he seeks the advice from the council of the minister and the council of the minister in turn send the matter to the concerned state wherein from the accused comes from and thereafter the decision is taken by the council of minister and the intern council of minister informs to the president in writing this is the normal practice at present that is being adopted mr. but Nikam. i do agree with mr jet malani yep. that there is no such a chronological list as maintained but what i am told unofficially that in every year they maintain some list that now, in this, this particular year this, is, this much accused have been preferred the mercy petition but there is and then it is a total president's prerogative this is all very much in the uh, air adopt a particular number Uj or Ujwal Nikam, this is all very much but, in the air i'm sorry you know it's very very ambiguous yeah. it is also highly political absolutely I, 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 I agree that this is a figment of imagination about the uh, list of the so so in the petitioners so this is a country ujwal nigam and i take this to to uh, to vikas singh in which even the afzal guru case has most unfortunately been completely politicized with political leaders getting into the debate a debate which was a national security debate about an attack on parliament being given a political color so all that is you know has happened before, hasn't it, Vikas Singh? So I don't understand your argument. This is not about a pure application of the law, is it, Vikas Singh? It gets into political territory. I tell you, Arnab. Yes. This is this is one case where all political parties in this country will agree that Kasab is not one person who should be given any mercy. And I'm also subscribing to the same theory. The point that I'm wanting to make is that giving mercy to Kasab is a different aspect altogether. What I am trying to drive at is, if you recall, after Kasab was convicted, Abu Jindal was arrested. Abu Jindal's arrest came much later and the larger conspiracy uh, with his arrest, you know, was uh, uh, to quite an extent uh, uh, disclosed. Now, similarly, like Abu Jindal, there would be a large number of other people who would be involved in this conspiracy. 
and with kasab going away we will be losing a very important witness oh, no, i am on a completely no, different this, point no, no, i am not trying to no, no, i am not trying to say that there is any politics involved in in, no, in this, this whole and, and mahesh is not correct in saying i mean this is not the last word who Why? could say that abu jindal cbi had done the interrogation of kasab even prior to his uh, conviction and abu jindal surfaced thereafter so it's not as if that uh, whatever has been interrogated of kasab is is the complete end of whatever investigation has to be done in the matter So where is Mahesh I mean, Jaitpalani wrong? Training took place. No, no. What is what is Mahesh Jaitpalani? Who, who all are involved point. behind this? What is Mahesh Jaitpalani's mistake? Point out the accuracy. He has already raised his hand. But but tell me where is Mahesh Jaitpalani wrong in the in what he said here? He said there no, is no he, cue. Mahesh Jaitpalani is saying. Mahesh Jaitpalani is saying that whatever has to be found out from Kasab has already been done by the Bombay Police and accordingly, really, there is nothing. Further to be uh, extracted from Kasab if he were to remain alive, which I am not agreeing to. I mean, whatever you have so far investigated and in, I, and sort of uh, taken out of Kasab is only what has come during the trial. Mr. But Mr. what went behind the scenes? I, I mean, the, the one Police second. I, 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 Mahesh Jaitpalani, you, would you like to respond? Mahesh Jaitpalani, would you I, like to I'm respond? I am on that aspect of them. Mr. Jaitpalani, would you else, would you like to whatever respond? Whatever else has, yes. Whatever else has come out has come out courtesy Abu Jundal, who who was not led to by Kasab. It is not Kasab who put you on the trail of Abu Jundal. That's Abu exactly Jundal the point that I'm making. Abu Jundal came out separately. So whatever you. That's exactly that's the what, point what, I'm making. That so doesn't Kasab make, has not I been say, investigated what, enough. No, no, that's not the point you're making. Sorry, you are not making that point. I am saying that the execution of Kasab will not lead to any other secrets because whatever secret he has taken. He has already. Uh, he has. He has already revealed. There is nothing he will be taking with him to his grave. The rest will come from other yeah. actors such as Abu Jundal. As I said, as I said that Abu Jundal was not discovered courtesy Kasab. No, I, I don't. You know, that's exactly the point. That this I'm will making. be an excuse to keep on. The bottom line is so this. What is the bo- so? How does the how does the hanging of Kasab prevent the truth from coming out as regards other actors? No, it doesn't. It doesn't. But we spend one crore rupees on creating a cell for him in a hospital. We spend two crore rupees on building a tunnel so that he can go from the court to his uh, to his particular cell. We spend fifty crore rupees. I think that is the conservative number that has been spent on keeping this man alive and safe for the last four years. And and I I, I he has got better legal assistance. Nikhil wanted to come in. Nikhil. He has got better legal assistance. Even the Supreme Court has said of a standard and quality that most Indian nationals approaching this court do not get. When any murderer or convict an Indian goes to a court, he does not get Raju Ramachandran to represent him in court. You know, so India has gone out of its way for this man, Nikhil. Uh, Arnab, I think you know it's it's very critical that yes, all of this was done, and it it allowed the world to see that we are not a kangaroo nation. It allowed the world to see that we're not rushing in, uh, you know, with a knee-jerk sort of uh, let's just hang him. But I feel that there is another very important point which is being missed repeatedly by almost everyone, that in his confession. Uh, and this was recorded, uh, you know, not, this was commented on even by the court in their judgment, that he immediately <coughs> on being asked whether he wants to give a confession, said that he wants to give his confession because he wants to become a martyr. And the reality no, that we all struggle with is that with so much attention coming on him every time uh, there is any movement on this case. Uh, at some level, we are just playing into the, that Nikhil, very, uh, you know, into that very vicious. Nikhil, tell me, by that market. argument, by that argument, Nikhil, any terrorist who carries out any terror yeah. attack in India, all the person has to say on being caught is, "Hang me, I will become a martyr," and we will all get you know a country of 1.2 billion again, people I think, I think will get so say, much on the defensive. Oh my God! We will not let him become a martyr, and no, hence he can live off our taxpayer money all. for the rest of I his life. I don't agree with you at all because you are missing what I'm trying to say again, which is that I just feel that we need to reduce the quantum of media exposure that we are giving to him. I but, feel but, that if it, he has to be hanged, let's do it. Let's have it done. Let's have it finished with. It will allow 
us as survivors to continue and move forward it will allow principally yes. and prevent true. other people from true, coming but this, up and but, but i don't that, I, know, I, I, my, my point to you is why should we get defensive about his talking about wanting to become a martyr bachi wanted to come back into this I, debate I, so I, I don't think i'm saying that we should get defensive about it or not no but at it, no point am i saying we should get defensive about no, it no, but, i'm trying to say that we're playing into into the game but two points, sir, two points. And, and whether we Nikhil... accept it or not, we're playing into the game, and there is somebody seeing all of this media coverage and standing up and saying, "Okay, that is a route well, to take." There, there could also and that's very worrisome for me. There, there could also be a lot of people saying that India, India, the Indian Supreme Court can uh, tell a person to be hung, but after that, the person can live off the Indian taxpayer for the rest of his life. It could also be seen as a subtle encouragement. Ujwal Nikam wants to come back. Ujwal Nikam wants to come back I, into the I'm debate, but before that, Bachi that wants to respond. I'm not, I'm not saying that that's the part today. Ba Bachi no, no, first, I'm and then Ujwal. Ah, okay, Ujwal Nikam. Yes, Ujwal Nikam first. Arnav, I would like to make it very clear that Arnav Kasab has never said in his confession that he is giving the confession because he would like to become a martyr. No, that is not factually correct. Okay. What Kasab has said to the magistrate when magistrate had asked him ki why you would like to give confession before me? Then Kasab said that I would like to give confession so more Fidayin should come forward. Ah. And that was the motivation he wanted to give to the other people. And therefore, he was ready to give the confession. Arnab, I want to come on this. That's, that shows that, that, that shows his attitude of that shows that shows. So the whole definition of how we play to his hands changes with what you just said. Bachi also wanted to respond yes, to Nikhil. I wanted Bachi. to say that the point where Kasab could be considered a martyr by anyone other than his constituency back home or whoever's left of it is gone. I mean, we've passed that stage. We should also not. I don't agree with you, Arna, where you say that we spent all these crores and so now that's what has to happen. We spent the crores. That, in fact, is something in our favour. That we've done everything possible to to give this man the fair trial, the protection, the blah blah blah, and all that. Sure. And I want to come back to Mr. Nope. Vikas Singh's point, where he cannot say both things. He cannot say. This man is just the juvenile delinquent, he's just the messenger. messenger and at the same time say, oh, he's got these great secrets still hidden inside him, which all these due processes have not by now squeezed out. That must speak very poorly about our interrogation and our uh, process of how we extract information. The, the, the reason I made that point was because this is an extraordinary crime, as the Supreme Court itself has said, Bachi, by way of clarification, it's the rarest of rare case since the birth of the Indian Republic. Yeah, and and if in the rarest the of state, rare cases since the birth of our republic, the right. there is no justice, then where will there be justice? You know, if you say Dhananjay Chatterjee, who, who, got the, who was hanged because he raped a, a young child in the lift, and when you think about Kasab, it's, it's terrible so to have it's, to make these comparisons. But I mean, how no, do you but compare no, but these the two? question is this, a person who carries out a brutality like this, if he is allowed to get away, a person who attacks the greatest symbol of Indian democracy in parliament becomes like, uh, like, uh, like Afzal Guru, becomes a subject of a political debate, then we are making a mockery of justice, aren't we? Mr. Uh, uh, Dr. Zorabi, one quick word from you. Yeah. I'm coming to you, Mahesh for a up, quick round. Yes. Summing up the whole uh, debate, I would just like to say, we need to hit upon this messenger once and for all, yeah. send a message across to all the nation yep. that now it's time that India has got up on its sleep. He's been given the whole uh, process of uh, uh, judici uh, the whole judicial process has over. The president has to take the call and finish up with it so that everybody can rest at peace. The ball is in the new president's court. Uh, Mahesh Jait Malani, if that does not happen, if this, if this case too goes into presidential red tape, what will be the political response? Well, I think, you know, uh, enough is enough now. I think we should get some public spirited citizens. And uh, if the president, there is a, the, the law has been laid down in 1982 that mercy petitions must be disposed of within three months. If Kasab makes a mercy yes. petition and he has seven days from the date it is communicated to him to do so, that the Supreme Court has dismissed his appeal, he has seven days from the day the jailer tells him that fact. If that mercy petition is made and the uh, president takes more, then, third, then three months as mandated by the Supreme Court. I think it's time for public, public spirit citizens. I have no doubt. And say enough is enough. Find out about this queue and hang all those people who deserve to be hanged. I, I have no doubt that, that in that case, you know, there will be a strong reaction. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for that interesting chat on Ajmal Amir Kasab. I thank you for your perspective and I thank each and every viewer across the country for tuning into the news tonight.